This is a sample of a cultural heritage theme taken from the list. We call this Baal Night Market. What the learners should know about the Baal Night Market. Night market has been a practice in Bao since the birth of the original marketplace at Sitio Binanuanan, Bao Camarines Sur in 1920s. After those years, the market was transferred to this place. This is the Gabaldon building of Bao West Central School, but this is called by the culture bearers as the old market. Now, this is the picture of the market in Baau at night. In the passage of time, due to the improvement of road facilities, the marketplace was transferred to the town proper at West Marketplace, now the Baal Central School, as I have said a while ago, in 1940s and later in 1960s. It was transferred to the market where it is located now at Barangay San Roque, Baal Camarines Sur. Here is the picture showing how the market night goes on. In some occasions, the night market is transferred from one street to a nearby street of the barangay near the town proper. As customarily practiced, more produce are sold after the day's harvest. The culture was adopted and passed on from generation to generation and now a practice worthy of appreciation for the value orientation of the elderly culture bearers. Everything that the people will need are always available in the night market. Old folks market style is one of the rich cultural practices in town. Night market had been a long way of life for Bahuenos before it was practiced in many places in the Philippines. Meaning, there were no night markets yet in the Philippines, but Baal had already been practicing this night market. The night market practice showcases simplicity and ingenuity. It speaks of simple economical living among the people. There is no need for storage and refrigeration of goods because what they have purchased could easily be used. And during the next night, they could buy another materials or needs for their consumption. See how fresh the vegetables are. The buyers get thicker at late afternoon until night because most customers get out buying fresh produce after office hours. The simple living farm producers bring their goods after the hard day's work. So the night market displays are on the streets and are generally and leisurely enjoyed by the strolling less business-like market buyers. The open-air concept of the market is a Baawenyo's way of reaching out to every buyer. Those who would like to eat balut, they could have it available. It is a thrift way of selling and putting up of stores without much to maintain. It has the objective of selling all the produce until the market night is over. So you could see the smiling faces of the vendors because it is not too warm. It's quite cold at night. They enjoy and even the buyers are always enjoying the night market. So the assurance is that all the produce sold in the night market maintains its freshness from the farm. Most family members of the farm growers are directly selling the goods. It is an assurance of a cheap price. Everything in the night market is even cheaper 
at late night. Bahuanyu's night mode of merchandising also catered to more creative variety of street food sold during the night market that lessened the meal preparation obligations of most preoccupied persons. Simply, they buy needs which they will consume right away. The produce from the hinterland planters and animal raisers, the catch from Baau Lake by the Fisher Fox, the lowland farmers, produce, and many others are brought in the night market for trade. Even people who would like to have pastime, they could also have themselves seated as they sell their things to sell. So nearby town buyers visit the night market for what they call tumar. It's about term for wholesale buying of the goods or produce. And these vendors, these vendors buy the products for reselling with the aim for profit. So the night market opened doors for more for more small business opportunities. Business traders and vendors bring the Tinumaran to nearby towns early the next morning for sale and of course surely for profit. So what the learner should think and feel about? Baal has a rich culture worthy of adaptation and appreciation. Students and all Baawenos must feel proud of the value behind the practice of the night market. They could relate to others the values preserved by the culture bearers, and they could also discover literature as a means of connecting to a significant past. Now, what the learner should do to be able to transfer learning? They could conduct interview to night market vendors and culture, culture bearers. They could conduct a trace of the historical changes and improvements in the night marketing style. They could also list down commodities sold in the night market. And they could interview vendors about the significant advantage of the night market. This is just a simple cultural heritage icon taken from the lists of cultural heritage things, which you could also use. Thank you very much.